what up y'all shout out to 2k even though i'm full with him for this uh story he interviewed the lady that we recapped on the other day um it was a lady backstory for those who are not familiar with the story it was a lady she went live holding her baby in her hand crying talking about her baby is not breathing while on live stream on facebook looking for a cellular device to call someone while she's on live on a different cellular device she claimed the baby had stopped breathing and they were waiting for the ambulance and stuff to get there once um emergency services arrived they took the baby and initially they said the baby was alert responsive breathing um she wasn't doing too much but she looked fine and then they said we're going to take the baby to the hospital and they went to the hospital to go get the baby checked later on the mom goes live and say that it was a seizure and that she opted into some type of uh research study for the child for the seizures or whatever like that so they was keeping the baby overnight then she does an interview with 2k and check out the new findings let me know what you think because i said from the get-go something just was weird about the whole scenario and to me this interview proved me to be right let me know your thoughts drop them in the comments so we was all talking because it was just the little kids and i told my husband i'm like let's go over there to the you know to the ghetto get you a ghetto nacho so i'm like let's go over to you know how you go get the ghetto nacho from the corner store but at the same time <laughs> when we got to the ghetto it was too many it was too many people a lot of black people and something always gonna happen so let's just go home and we eat what's in the house so we hop back on the highway which we got to get from the north side because we stay on cut hay so mind you from where we where we was it's a good like 20 minutes you know what i'm saying so we hop back on the highway, whatever. We get off on like 794, which the highway ended right there. We turn, we dang there to our house, probably like, I want to say eight to 10 blocks away from our house. So after that, I'm telling my husband, because she was wide awoke, like she wasn't asleep or anything. And I'm talking to her, I'm like, hey, princess, because princess was behind her, her dad driver's seat. My uh, two month old was in the middle and I was behind the passenger seat because I usually sit back there to tend to the little babies. Uh -huh. So I'm like talking to her. She wide awoke though. And I'm like, hey. Hey, pretty or whatever you know i'm talking to her but after that her fifa dropped out of her mouth but her eyes wide open and i'm like that's weird she didn't even go for a pacifier so she started grasping for she started grasping for air like four times and i'm like i told my husband i said we need to hurry up like because she bra she grasping for air like she can't breathe and he was like maybe she hot you know it's hot out here i'm like but we in a car to air on so we had the windows cracked already because we out there looking at the boat. Where, where we at, it's like water. I can't even explain it. We like by, we got to drive over the lakefront to get to the house. Right. So I can't really explain it unless you know Milwaukee. But um, after that, so I'm like, uh, dang, is it the air or what? But she's still stuck. She's not responding. I'm pushing her. I'm like shaking her like, princess, princess. She's not looking up at me like, hi, huh, or nothing like that. She's not responding. So after that, he about to pull over on the side of the road. Mind you, we at the end of the road where the highway ended. I'm like, no, it's too busy right here. I said, you might as well just keep on. We call 911 ASAP. So when we pull up in the driveway, he instantly get her out. He was like, maybe she just waking up. She tired. You know, she hot maybe. He was like, I'm going to try to go in the house and give her some water. So I got the other two kids, which is Thesey and King. So I just took Thesey out of her car seat. I told King and I ran. I even stepped in a puddle of mud because I'm like, forget that. I'm trying to get to Princess. So when I got in the house, I'm asking. I'm like, did she start responding? Is she getting up? Like, what? He like, no, nah. he was like, let me just see. Let me. And then when I came in, that's when the foam out her mouth started. I'm like, no, you don't put nothing in her mouth. Obviously, she either having a stroke, she in shock, or she either having a seizure. I said, I don't know which one it is. So my, we, didn't, we didn't bring no phone. We don't know where no phones at. I'm not looking for no phone. When he see a phone in the house, he like, but this one ain't on. I'm like, babe, you ain't thinking. I said, just call 911. It's going to work. <laughs> so he called 911. I'm like, forget all that. So I see the other phone, mind you, we got the phone that's off that the kids play with. So, you know, they can't access nothing, but they play with the phone. So I grabbed the other one and my Facebook connected to it. I'm like, okay, forget it. I'm going to just go to Facebook live because I need somebody to contact my mama. Clearly in the video, I'm like, can somebody call my mama? My brother, um, my brother, baby mama ended up calling my brother and he called my aunties and them and they instantly got to the hospital to me. And I told my sister, I'm like, just go get to town, go get the kids so Tom can get here with me. I called my mama. My mama ended up getting in contact with us. So then after that, I'm like, Ma, you need to get here because I'm in the mind. Say, I can't think. I'm crying. I'm screaming on the way to the hospital. They done and lost my baby two times. This man on the highway, the ambulance asking me to hold the GPS for him. I'm like, damn, can we just get to the hospital? Like, he like, um, I can't get off. It's hard to get off to the right. I said, well, if you start trying to get to the right, we would we would get there pretty quicker. So 
it was just a whole bunch of commotion. Like at this point, I know me, I panic a lot. So I'm already there. They done gave me a bag to try to breathe in. I instantly need my mama because I know how my mindset can go. That's my baby. My mind went blank. It's a lot of team. It's a whole team. You know how you see on the movies where they waiting on her. It was a whole, but it's a big team. It's a lot of them, probably like 30 in the room. I really could get to Princess. I don't know what's going on. They just got her on the bed. There's a lot of doctors working on her, you know, trying to revive her. They had gave her a seizure shot to bring her out of it. First, they was like, was it any, you know, any drugs in her system? And I'm like, well, I don't know. She got into the Mucinex earlier. That's the only thing I could think of. So they gave her the Narcon shot. That was the first shot they gave her. It didn't bring her back. So they was like, and the man, the chief was like, this got to be a seizure. He was like, at this point, this just got to be a seizure. So he was like, how how much do you think she weighed? I'm like, she about 25 pounds. So he ended up giving her the seizure medication. She started coming into it, but her heart rate was dropping. Like, you know, it kept dipping. So it dipped like two times. But when they got her to the hospital, she still wasn't moving. She still was out of it or whatever. So I'm thinking they took her to Casky and they did x-ray. So when I got into the room, finally, when they put us in the room or whatever, they took out her casket in. Um, they came in there. They was like, well, we tested her or whatever. And she came back for the, the seizure medication. And she came back with cocaine in her system. I'm like, well, hold on. Okay, okay, I'm okay. Like, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, no, I don't know of any cocaine being in her system. Mind you, we said Airbnb. That's not, mm -mm, I don't have no idea how to got to her. So they tested all the kids. All the kids came back, not except King. King had cocaine in his system as well i came back clean because they tested the baby which is too much which i breastfeed my baby my baby didn't come back for no cocaine my husband in the hospital asking them to drop him on johnny on the spot and a social worker like no nah, you don't have to worry about that over the two weeks i'll get you guys a drug screen blah 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 but they never tested us like they never tested us she was like so she just told my aunt who the kids is in care with that we may be drug dealers that's what she said because in another state, my husband was accused of being a drug dealer, which we had two other cases in two different states, but they never, ever closed. We're open. The case was like, oh, okay, you guys are drug dealers. It was just calls and allegations. It wasn't like, oh, okay, we're really drug dealers. Or they found us to be any drug dealer. We didn't know. So after that or whatever, we never came back to the house because mind you, the kids can't be in our care without my aunt. So they had to be at her house. So I stayed at, I stayed at her house. I stayed at her house with the kids, so I never came back, okay? So after that, the next day after I stayed at my house, because I didn't want to be at my auntie's house, just, you know, crapping her space. So we ended up getting a room, you know what I'm saying? So I told him, I'm like, babe, you know, run to the house and get some clothes or whatever. I'm like, so, you know, we could take the clothes to auntie's house and we could freshen up. When he on the way to the house, no, when he on the way, the officer called us, but they called to ask on my mother information because they had her detained too. See, you got to let me tell the story from the beginning to the end for you to understand. It was, it just like they was going from Jeff to the left. They was almost like they was trying to do some sneaky stuff. I don't know what the heck, but at the hospital, I gave them permission to search my house with the dog. So they had no reason to even come tear up my house. So I'm thinking they was just going to come search my house with the dog, sniff out whatever they needed to find, and that was going to be it. Right. That ain't what they did. So they was like, we're not even going to search the house. We got a house car volume. So that was the same night. Princess got admitted to They moved her upstairs. But the officer went up there with me. You know, he questioning me, whatever. I already agreed to it. So he like, okay, we're going to come back when our car volume is low. I'm like, okay, cool. But I'm sitting there with Princess. I didn't think nothing of it. So my husband, originally, he got in the car with my sister to come up to the hospital. So he was like, I'm going to just wait till she can get the kids because she may make it us too. So I said, cool. So when my mama made it back in town from Warsaw, I'm like, my mama just run over and pick up Tom and the babies or whatever. And y'all go to the house. And y'all just sit there and let Tom come to the hospital. So my mama was like, I'm going to just let Tom sit with the kids. I'm going to come see y'all first so he can get the kids settled. So I'm like, okay, cool. That's fine. So after that, when the uh, officers, they came, we came to the house and it was the social worker. It was a lot. They detained my mama and them. So they didn't get my mama information. So Thursday, when Pretty Red was getting discharged from the hospital, the officer called was like, um, could you give me um, your mother's information because we didn't get that. I said, well, I ain't going to do your footwork for you. If you didn't do your footwork, why would I do it for you? I said, and furthermore, y'all detained her, roughing her up, and she didn't live at the household. Y'all kept saying she was interfering with y'all investigation, but y'all didn't come with no warrant. Y'all didn't come showing us no paperwork. Y'all just flat out came and said y'all was removing the kids. Y'all wanted to search the house. Y'all coming looking for my husband. And I'm like, what y'all doing all that for? I'm like, that's unnecessary. Y'all, nobody, the CPS worker never even came and spoke with me, never came and talked to me, never came and told me what she was going to oh, do. Okay, like, but I never yo. even seen the lady face. Ready to visit, I can get it. If I'm telling you, you can go in and search. But y'all come to the house saying y'all was going to remove my kids. That's not what we talked oh, about. Okay. We didn't talk about you coming in, removing my kids. They're my babies. I'm supposed to protect them. I'm their protector. Okay. My husband is a felon. He did three years in prison. Like, 
what y'all on? And I know from pre previous allegations how we was treated. Like in Vegas, they raided our house at four in the morning. I could see if I hadn't been through nothing like this, but I've been through this. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't nothing like, oh, well, it's just brushing off. It's going to be okay. No, that ain't how things always work, especially mm -hmm. When they already not had allegations of that, they already told me like, well, you get a third allegation, a third call in any state, anywhere, we're removing the kids. So I'm like, I'm not understanding what's going on. Why did y'all come talk to me? Like, if y'all said y'all was coming to search the house, how did it get from searching the house to taking my kids? And y'all walked through the same night. They walked through the same night, walked through the house. Like, I don't understand it. We was hiding so Why did I let? I didn't talk to them. They never talked to me. I didn't even know they raided the house until he rolled past the house. So I came to see what they did to the house. And that was my first time seeing the house. No, the CPS worker said it wasn't nothing fine because if she was, if something was found and they would have had to remove the kids out of my aunt care because that's a family member. So obviously they didn't find nothing.